Welcome to episode seven. Right, um, so in the last episode, we had a go at the old forged carbon and produced that, um, which was semi-successful. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna have another go at this forged carbon. Um, I'll do a video of the whole process. Um, and uh, yeah, redesigning the mold. Uh, we're gonna use the lessons we learned on that and try and make some improvements and get the whole thing working a bit better and uh, see what happens. So let's get straight in.
Right, so I'm pretty happy with the way that came out. Here's the finished part. And as you can see, it's come out pretty crisp. We did still get a little bit of um, compression of the actual mold itself and a little bit of bulging on these sort of flange areas. Uh, I will tweak the recipe a little bit, try and reduce that. I can't really do much about the shape to avoid that, so I'm going to have to tweak the recipe a little bit more. I did put a bit less carbon fibre in here, and um, it seems to have uh, worked. It still feels pretty strong. Um, I sanded the bottom flat with the belt sander, and it seems to sand exactly the same way. It's got the same sort of rigidity on it, so and the same sort of feel. So I think it's it's just the ratio is still good enough. Um, but yeah, it came out really clean. Just a few small, tiny voids. One on the inside that just needs a little bit of filling. Um, I altered the shape a little bit compared to the previous one. I took out these features here where your hose would sit. And, you know, there's a little groove in there to assist in the grip when there's a hose clamp on. I took all of that out and just made it parallel. So it was easier to fill and compress. Um, I will then machine those features in afterwards. Um, everything came out, nothing got stuck in the mold, but that's because I changed the design of the mold a little bit. So this is the new mold versus the previous shape. Um, this is a sacrificial mold, so it's not intended to be reused. Um, the only way to get it out is to heat it up and to, to, to make the, the mold pliable and soft and then it can be peeled off. Um, this this is okay because the part needs to go through a heat treatment cycle anyway So it's partly heat treated now because it's been in the oven up to hundred degrees Celsius And so I just need to finish the heat treatment operations on that up to 160 or 170 to give it its full um, heat resistance But uh, but yeah, I mean it just seems to work out that that's an easier way of doing things There's the core you can see the way it goes together. You've got all your features in in the mold and then the core goes in there like that and the mold closes on it and um, this core is completely distorted now but that leaves your cavity and then that's your closer that just goes on there and, and compresses the whole lot uh, the core fits in there and it's got a hole through it the little lines with a hole in the main body of the mold for a long bit of threaded rod to go through if you do that and you make the, the hole off center, then it can only fit in one direction, which makes things easier. You don't have to struggle with uh, working out which way it's supposed to go. Um, so yeah, this uses quite a lot less plastic than this does. Um, so altogether about 280, 300 grams in total of, of um, um, 3D printer filament. So not quite as bad as the 500 grams that this method used also only eight bolts instead well nine bolts instead of all of those um but yeah but it worked really well i did use the spray wax instead of the uh pva release agent and that's one of the reasons why this has got a slightly matte finish to it which is probably a, you know it'll look it'll look the same once it's got some um clear lacquer on it but i did find it released easier i also changed this to add a bit more draft to certain areas not necessarily for release but more just to aid in filling because this is a key area here getting this bit filled bearing in mind we're compressing it from that side and we don't have a, a large open area there to get the carbon fiber in and fill up all of these features so what i did was i in it, i did a pre-fill before i closed the mold up i filled this area and i actually cut the carbon fiber down to shorter pieces just so that it would have an easier time of compressing into these into these features but it all seemed to work because it came out really nice and there's really good resolution on it you can see all the little layer lines um, and everything all the features came out really crisp and, and good so that's definitely a success only thing to still sort out is the uh, the bulging areas um, I'll have to fixture this to machine it and I'm going to have a go at just 3D printing some fixtures because that's probably the easiest way. And then uh, because they're going to be locating off of these areas, I'm going to have to take a file to that and just file that down a bit, get it flat. 
But um, other than that, the, I can't see any serious issues with this at all. I think it's a perfectly good part. And, um, and I'm calling this a success. And I think this method, this forged carbon the whole thing seems to work quite well. And uh, I'll be doing more of it. And um, these, these are obviously being done with the EL160 high temperature epoxy resin. And um, because they're going to be in contact with the engine. I think future projects using this method, I won't be using the high temperature resin. I'll just be using the standard infusion resin because it's a thinner resin and it'll probably be easier to wet out and to get it to flow properly. Um, so uh, I might get some of that soon. But uh, meantime, I think the next video will machine that, do all the final operations that needed on that. Um, there's a couple of aluminium inserts that are going in here. Um, I'll get them made up. Machine, machine all the features into there, get everything bonded in place with epoxy, um, get it through its final heat treatment and see if we can finish that and see how it comes up before I do any more, get this one finished. So yeah, that's the next video. Thank you very much for watching.